uh, as Moon Raccoons once again is hitting C. A couple of smokes come out. The dash comes out as well, and Wardell rips Fiend from the skies. I like that attempt, though. Now Rebo will at least trade things out, and there's a cyber cage there to stop the push from TSM so they can at least get the spike down. But it's not down yet. Moon Raccoons are waiting for this flank from Profi. I can't believe I had missed it. What the frenzy is going to find Sabrosa. Then he backs away, and now TSM are like, damn, we're infiltrated. We're not safe. They're still going to plant that spike for long, and we'll see how TSM react. They've got to flush him out, and that's going to be how they do it. The Molotov back towards Gong, and now TSM can retake the site. Yeah, and TSM has already lost two members here. So it, it's not totally out of the realms of possible. See, temperature starting to tee up a little something as the clock continues to tick away. There's a paranoia coming out of Moon nice. Raccoons. Alexander is able to take care of color. Drone goes in a bit more aggressively. Nice shots out of Drone. On to temperature, Wardell gets in on it as well. Just one left on the side of Moon Raccoons with 33 health. Makes that seven. He is wow. able to take care of Wardell. Goes in. And I Okay, yeah, he's, he is going to have an attack. That was dicey. That was very expensive for TSM, but a round win nonetheless. Uh, and it looks like that's exactly where they're headed. They don't have a ton of guns to work with, so they dash and wow. go with an aggressive fiend. Okay. able to get one with the Frenzy early on. Joke's over. Now he's just going to play the smoke. There's going to be the, 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 the clone that comes through. Wardell will hold the line. Drone still survives in that engagement, but now that spike ticking. And so for Wunderkoons, they at least get that money, but how many more picks can they find? They've got a player in Gong. Temperature with one, Profi with another. They've upgraded. It's a 2v1. Profi in the 1v1. Wardell. Up against Profi, he updrafts off. He knows exactly where he is, but Profi trying to reposition. He's going to wrap around. He's going to double back. He sees the head, sees the ponytail. Now he's in a little bit of a tougher spot. How does Profi play this out? Wardell drops Whoa. down. The shots are good, Profi. Take yeah, I still like the, how this is set up for TSM. Now the smoke starts to come through. This may be looking like a fake execute for Moon Raccoons. And he's going to teleport over. He makes it out. No. But no, it's canceled. <gasps> oh, Wardell, he's the timing him. of that is insane. But they're making their way onto the site. We've got to pay attention to the action and we'll catch up with temperature later. They find the frags that they need, but the spike needs to go down. Wardell is sprinting to the finish line while the rest of TSM flanking the defender spawn. Spike, planted. spike has gone down. Alexander is going to use that Empress. As Wardell is going to be creeping his way up a long, remember that he has that blade storm. Alexander spots one, gets one. He's going to reposition. Up close and personal, Wardell's able to slice and dice him and take him out. It's going to drop things down to a 2v2. Wardell doing it again. He's got the cloud burst. Try to provide some nice. smoke. Sub Rosa takes care of business as well. Up a little bit and create some room, but it looks like they're going to try to go mid, and Sub Rosa's waiting in the cheekiest of corners. Trigger discipline. One, two, team nice. up and give him to him. He gets three. Alexander is able to stop it, but the damage has been done. Moon Raccoon's down to two players left. That is a ridiculous play, but that's an even more ridiculous one as Alexander's going to answer back. Good placement there. They're going to owl drone the garage, get some presence towards the seaside. If they can find another 1v1 and take the win there, it'll be a 2v2 spike down. Doable for Moon Raccoons, but difficult considering what TSM are doing right now. We've got the Lurk coming in from Haze. He's already made courtyard presence, but he's down. So now this is just going to be a 2v2. They're in the B site, and Alexander sees one at least. So they'll push back, funnel back towards the C site, get the spike down. And now TSM have to retake in the 2v2. 30 seconds left. There's that Hunter 3 that we talked about, but it was actually coming out of Cutler. Here, he uses two weights as the spike continues to go down. He is able to tag Profi, but Profi is going to get the spike down nonetheless. Drone on the flank, working his way through the garage. But they isolate things. Profi is able to take care of him. It's going to drop down to a 1v1 Cutler. He's healthy. He's got plenty of utility as well. He has options. Meanwhile, Profi not nearly as fortunate. Cutler just wins the peak. He wins that gunfight. He's going to get the defuse as well. Down. Profi with the long-term investment. He wants those stocks to pay off on tenfold. He's lurking all the way through the defender spawn. We'll see how much success he has. We'll pay attention as Haze and Sabrosa are pinching in. The TSM hyenas are starting to find their prey. They're hungry and they're hunting. They know that Munukuns are on the site. But Profi coming in from behind is going to be important because he's going to find Wardell here, but doesn't Wardell see him out? We're looking at, of course, the site battle here. Profi does find him, but now the defuse is starting to come through. It's all down to him, and somehow he didn't use that Hunter's Fury from before. So Bros is going to peek him. He's going to push him out, take him down. Solid attempt. Now it's a 3v5 retake. Spike is going down. Solid quick push here from the Moon Raccoon. Yeah, Rebo was trying to rotate back around, and he got caught, unfortunately. Members of Moon Raccoons have had to back off towards C-Long. Drone in from garage. 
going to work his way in as you see the, the other drone is going to get plenty of information. The Empress has been used out of Sub Rosa as he tries to flash and create a little bit more room. First team drone was able to take care of temperature wow. from downtown. That's insane. And he's sticking to the fuse. Already gets it down to half. So Brozo goes in a bit more aggressively oh. to create some more space. But Profi keeps things at bay. Color trying to hold it down. Let's see if that will end up being the play. It's interesting to see TSM entirely play off of C and leave it open. There's nobody there. Wow. But it looks like the investment over on the opposite side of the map is working. So Brozo's already able to get two drone swings and gives Profi the business as the third goes down for Moon Raccoons. Just One down to two. Remaining. Yeah, this sewers hold was great from TSM. Because they had anticipated potentially, you know, Moon Raccoons that looks like they want to get on to B. You see another Hunter Fury using being used in response as well. The temp his temperature gets oh. spiked down. Spike play. And the answer back too. It was actually Color who tagged Profi, but couldn't have finished the deal. So Bros has actually made his way onto the site, even though Moon Raccoons members have kind of positioned in an interesting way, temperature is going to be the X factor that we have to consider unless TSM clear it out. You see, he's got a sheriff. He's got not a lot to work with, so he's willing to sacrifice his life. But there's some cheeky angles. Look at Rebo positioned out the doors. Drone actually Molotov's temperature out of position, and now they decide to go in, but Alexander with one drone trades it out, and they want to stop the defuse, but it's currently being defused. As Wardell will stick it, the rest of the team clean up. Hayes pushes through the doors. Drone pushes through this. Maybe just Sabrosa. Yeah, he'll go down there. This is going to be a fast and heavy hit. Our Moon Raccoon's ready for it. We're about to find out. Oh, that operator shot was the cue. You see some members of Moon Raccoon starting to rotate over. as CSM funnel onto the left. site. Fiend is able to get three, however, and stops the push dead in its tracks. They're just down to two members left. The spike is on the site, too. It's not even in a position where they can easily get it and rotate away. Moon Raccoon sitting pretty here. A 4K for Fiend already as he's looking for the ace. You see him want to go aggressive. Looking around for Wardell, the operator shot just left. goes a bit wide as Fiend goes in aggressive. Wardell running for the fences, dashing away as Fiend hunts him down along oh. with the rest of Moon Raccoons. That is an aggressive, ballsy, classic peek into the operator. <laughs> Sold that C hit so well. And now it's up to TSM. They're planting for long, but Fiend goes in. He's got the knives. Alexander answers back to 4v3 but no retake yet as the spike's not down it's in a tough spot cutler's down it's up to wardell and drone the op in hand but he has to worry about the off angle from the side gets taken down and now it's all up to drone first shot comes easy camera shows where he's located three members remaining for moon Cruz. there's a player playing to the left but they've got all the angles covered begins yeah, not to mention they're coming through this side as well. Flash is going to push Fiend off the angle, and he's going to get sprayed through the smoke. But there's the spike headshot uh, to Cutler. The rest of TSM may be running away now, maybe starting to back up. It's a tough place, tough site to hit now. Sabrosa picks up the spike. They double back. They might just reset here. There's a teleport play available for Hayes. He's going to get over towards that C site, plant it or wait for them to come in. The camera does tag him out. He's going to teleport back to that default plant spot. Oh, but Moon Raccoons are here. They're not letting this spike go down. Well, there's just so much utility. It was a nuisance. They didn't, TSM didn't have room to move, much less breathe or get the spike down. And it has been dropped. TSM's just down to two members left. Make that one. And it's going to be none other than Sabrosa. He doesn't have any armor 30 seconds to left. work with. Again, the spike in a situation where TSM can't easily get onto there. But Sabrosa was able to get one, dropping down to 1v1. Fiend with the operator holding down that angle. Knows exactly where it is. Sabrosa doesn't have... A Leer to work with uh, as well, but Sabrosa oh. wins it. Hey, meanwhile, TSM is working their way on A. It's just temperature. Who's going to have a chance? Clean wow. shots onto Sabrosa. That's a big opening pick, but TSM should be able to get onto the site here. Spike's still not planted, but it might be shortly as they're still waiting for the push in. But Moon Raccoons do Spike not like planted. to wait. They want to start to fight for it early. Shock darts come through. Wardell is paranoid, so he's got to double back. Ho, ho, ho! At least let him touch the ground. Wardell shoots Brophy right out of the air. It's the 3v2 retake. It's all down to temper. Steady here. B main is a tough choke point to push through. Oh, the Rebo junk peak. I don't know if he sees a lot of people there, but. See how much firepower can be provided by the heaven side. Now they're starting to funnel in. Drones at least can get in early. Wardell still supporting from the back. But now the swing comes through. Profi just running and it's gutted. Holy smokes. Wardell missing a crucial shot down to two members here for TSM. 
Man, I don't know if a lot of you have seen that tense clip in a DM where he's just running around, but that's exactly what that felt like. Profi just holding left click and the, uh, 30 seconds the, left. The, 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 right, the, the right arrow key just moving along. Two members remaining here for TSM. It'll be a difficult site to break through, but now they're starting to be pinched in from One behind. There's the smoke. Remaining. They're going to be pushed in by temperature. All down to one final player. Hayes, they're just going to push in one at a time. Oh, oh Hayes! Oh. Holy smokes! That Immediately, like clockwork, you see members from Romero can start to rotate, but TSM gives up the cues. Alexander wow. with a huge two-piece. He's going to get traded out, however, as Fiend drops. Temperature's still on the site. Anchoring things down, holding them at bay. TSM has fallen apart on this round as Moon Raccoons hold fast. I wish I could see the perspective there from Alexander. Spike picked up. Shot's going to be good onto temperature, but they know that he's playing towards hell, so he's going to smoke off screens and only focus on the heaven push. We've got a player coming in from the top side as well. Color's going to take him down. So already this is being equalized by TSM just because of the raw weapon advantage that they have. Alexander only had the showstopper and a sheriff. He doesn't have much else to work with. Spike going down. And it's the 2v2 retake. How will Moon Raccoons fight this off? Looks like they're going to be pushing in from a couple of different fronts. Rebo's going to get onto the site, but it's actually Alexander. With the 3k on the Sheriff, Rebo spots the last one. He only has four bullets, but it does not matter. Alexander makes that Sheriff sink. Cutler drops there. They're like, what is going on? When is this guy ever playing here? And now the battle comes through, Cutler's going to lose it. Wardell wins the battle, pushing up. But now TSM has a little bit more control. Drone really being the hero here as he pushes in towards heaven. And now Moon Raccoons are a little bit split up. A player coming from the Defender spawn, one in B main, and Rebo still holding down the ropes here. He's going to retreat after the Paranoia, and TSM You're are going to hit this B site You're fast. Dead. Gonna run it back. It's going to create some room and get some info. As they get onto the site, you see Fiend has that operator making sure nobody's going to be flanking around from behind. Oh, temperature. Oh, temperature. He was able to get one. Hayes sniffs it out and takes Ten care of him. Left. TSM just down to one. The spike has not been planted yet. Hayes gets close. plenty to work with. TSM trying to play around mid here, but Alexander goes oh. in aggressive. Holy smokes. The showstopper does just that onto Hayes as he's taken out. Yeah, and they got to hold this B push now. Rebo, it's all down to you. How many members can you stop from TSM? He's getting tagged. He's getting shot. Drone takes him down. Now temperature. Trying to spray through that default plant spot there. Behind the boxes. Flash comes through. 3v4 for Moon Raccoons. The heroics with the showstopper. Yeah, it's great. They've lost too many members on this B site, and they have to go for the retake. It's going to be a tough one, nonetheless. Fiend still with that operator. Just in a brutal spot. He's got to check so many angles. He's able to take care of Wardell. The CC was not enough to keep him at bay. And now Fiend can move in a little bit more, as can the rest of Moon Raccoons. It's going to be a 3v3. Fiend gets flashed up. Drone gets three. Cutler finishes it off. TSM take the round. Big question. TSM start to push over on towards the B side. We do have Alexander alongside Profi here. The defense hasn't worked out quite well, but now TSM is doing their homework, pushing onto the side, checking all the angles. Going Wardell up. is going to take out Profi. Wall goes up. But Alexander is still back. Sight, they don't know. It's on check. Two kills for Alexander. Seconds it's left. down to the 2v2 as Wardell will nullify that. Spike going down. Spike Double line retake line for Moon Raccoons. Oh, man. Wardell going exactly down is big there. Cutler's going to be the last one. And the Neural Theft has been used to give his position away. He's got some CC to try to keep him at bay. Uh, somehow isolates that 1v1 on a Rebo. Cutler goes aggressive, tries to get... Um, the retakes have been kind of 50-50. We'll see if Temperature can do a great job this time. I see he's one of the first responders there in collaboration oh with God. Profi and Alexander on the opposite side in B Heaven. As much success as TSM has found across the middle of the map, Moon Raccoon still hold a three round lead here on the defending side. Now we're seeing him go a bit aggressive, and I think that might have been a bit of like an unfortunate interaction as Profi got pushed back as he was swinging on the drone. It was just easy picking for him there at that point. You see, the Roll of Thunder has been used to clear out B, oh, but nobody's there. Temperature holding down the middle of the map to give him three. The man is out of control. One Last enemy remaining. Standing. This is exactly what Moon Raccoons needed, but guess when they needed this? Like several risks of TSM are starting to rotate over from the defending spawn as they begin to drop onto the sites of Rosa. Gets punished. He gets hit pretty bad. He's going to have to back off his Alexander and Fiend gate two on the site. TSM down to two. 
The last two members for TSM are in the back alley. They're gonna at least try to find one here with the flames. Oh, the shafts are almost no. crisp. Drone! He's gonna find three! It's a 1v1. The flash comes through. His confidence is oozing all over. Split. Last shot's gotta be good. And TSM! Turbo dunks just for good measure. TSM will trail by three. Now we're gonna see a heavy A quick one, too. Well, they don't really have a lot to work with. They'd love to get the spike down, but that's exactly where it is. It's down. It's not in the hands of anybody. This is just going to be a quick throw away round for Moon Raccoons. If they can find a pick, great. Haze is unfortunately going to be the only one that feels that pain. Okay. That's one pick, but now you're dead. Unless you find one from range, which with the Frenzy, you're not going to... Uh, as fortunate, but... We haven't seen this a ton. They have a Lurker over towards A, but heavy presence by B. You see that Paranoia come through. Sabrosa goes in. He's able to get one. Alexander trades it out, however. Shadows traveling. Oh, here's the orb at least. A's won't shoot through it. Wonder which ultimate they got. It must have been the Showstopper or Rolling Thunder. Rebo's been holding down any potential flanks for Lurks. From A main, just sitting pretty. He's been doing that consistently, and actually TSM forced them off a couple of rounds ago. Now Moon Raccoon's the 4v4. Where do they end up going? Because they're still kind of tight-knit on the attacker side. Nothing has been set up quite yet, and TSM are holding great angles on every possible location. So they'll know Moon Raccoons are coming before they even get there. Rebo finally rotating away. Here's the showstopper. Alexander goes in, blast packs his way across. No paranoia left. to keep him at bay. He gets so much room, creates so much space for his team. But Hayes was just around the corner. Wow. And he's able to take care of him as well. Two huge picks from Hayes. Yeah, he uh, he really made it super problematic for Moon Raccoons. It's all down to Profi. He's got the spike. Obviously, may want to plant it down. He's going to roll out the red carpet just to get that extra money, but he's going to be burned alive at the crisp. Thrown up above in heaven. Oh, Profi sees him. Headshot 1v2, but not enough time. So, unfortunately, but they've got a great handle on what's going on here. Sabros is going to go up and over. Oh. He still flashed and unfortunately can't gather his bearings quite yet. The 4v4 remains. Drone will rotate back into ropes. And they'll try again to hold that mid pressure. But B main yeah. is going to be pretty easy to walk through. There's not a lot of presence for T from TSM to look in towards B main. So this should be a quick sight hit for Moon Raccoons. Yeah, you see the smoke's coming out. The paranoid declare at the back of the site. That's going to let TSM know where the action is going down. You saw Vordell on the opposite side of the map, too, ensuring that there are no shenanigans. Drone up from heaven. He's able to get two. Looking for the third. No. Alexander trades it out with the Spectre. He's the last one standing. Able to get one, two. That's three on the round for him. He drops things down to a 1v1. Alexander with the heroics, keeping this round close. 1v1. Wardell versus Alexander. He sees Wardell headshot. As Moon Raccoons, they stay alive. Oh, 30 seconds me. left. Rolling Thunder causing problems. Yep, as Fiend drops. Cutler's able to get the best of him. Profi got knocked up pretty badly as well, but somehow Moon Raccoons still kind of lingering around here. Oh, a drone up from heaven is able to take care of temperature. The spike goes down as well. This round is for all intents and purposes. Ten Lost seconds left. For Moon Raccoons as TSM should. Yep, flawless. there it is. A flawless round and a two round lead. Okay. Which is where TSM has the vast majority of their resources. A couple in heaven, some back sight. They're actually starting to rotate away. I love how passively and how cautiously they're playing. But Moon Raccoons goes in. Oh, oh my gosh. It's like playing One Duck Hunt. He just rips him out of the sky. Moon Raccoons fall apart. They're just down to one member left. It's Temperature. He backs up. Wardell goes in aggressively. Temperature takes care of him. He's got the Guardian able to get two, but no. 